It's been way too long since we talked apps on PhoneDog, and that's about to change as I have 10 Android apps that I want to share with you for the month of February. They are in no particular order. Some of these apps are new, some of them received new updates, and some of them are just plain awesome. The first app worth checking out is called Portalize. If you ever played the amazing game Portal, then you need to download this app as it is very similar. It's a puzzle game that consists of shooting various portals around a room to get to a certain destination. There are switches you need to activate. There's even a companion cube that accompanies you similar to the Portal game by Valve. It's really awesome and you should check it out. The next app worth checking out is called S Converter. It's my favorite converter app on the Play Store, not only because it's designed with material design in mind, but because it's very useful. Whether it's area, currency, energy, force, length, mass, speed, temperature, you name it, and S Converter can convert it. And it's just so dang simple. For example, you enter in a number and it'll automatically update various conversion units for you. Now who likes money? Trick question, we all do. Google has an app called Google Opinion Rewards that pays you Google Play credit to answer surveys. Google will use the responses to the surveys you answer to send you relevant surveys from researchers. Now, none of these responses from those surveys are connected to your Google profile, but a record of your participation is kept to credit your Google Play balance. The number of surveys varies along with how much credit you will earn from each survey, but it's free and it's a good way to earn some money to buy some cool new apps like the ones I'm mentioning here. Maplets is another neat app that could be very useful for some of you. It costs a few dollars on the Google Play Store, but it gives you access to so many maps, it's well worth it. For example, I live in Portland and it automatically offers a bunch of maps that I might find useful. It even tells you how large the files are, which is pretty neat, and the maps themselves are used for reference only, and they aren't made for navigation purposes, but they are pretty awesome. They include bike and walking trails, bathrooms, various public buildings like libraries, as well as streets, of course. And it truly is a great resource. It costs a few bucks on the Google Play Store, but once again, it's definitely worth checking out. Weather Bomb is a great app for anyone who has an interest in the weather. It shows you what kind of weather fronts are over a certain region in a very animation heavy design, which I really like. I also like how you can slide from left to right to see how the system will move through an area throughout the week. And you can customize all the units as well as set destinations. And it goes beyond just viewing the precipitation. You can also view the cloud cover and the wind as well. So it's definitely a must have for any weather enthusiast. Calcu is a very simple but sexy calculator app that does just about everything you'd want a calculator app to do. To access various functions, you swipe either up or down. It records your history as well, so all your problems will be stored. So if you accidentally clear a problem, you can view it by swiping down. You can also add additional functions like operators and constants and a bunch of other stuff that is way over my head. But basically this app can be as simple or complex as you want it to be. And it looks good in the process, which is why I thought it was worth sharing. Bar Launcher is one of the best discoveries I've found as it's so simple, but oh so useful. All it does is create a bar in your notification panel that gives you access to a selection of apps that you can customize. You can even add multiple rows that are categorized to your liking. But every time you slide down the notification panel, those apps will be there. Now you know Wikipedia, that site you use for all of your research papers that your teachers get upset for using? Well, it has an app that recently got updated to material design. It's called Wikipedia Preview, and it's one of my favorite recent discoveries as you can get all sorts of great information with sources to back up that information in a very aesthetically enjoyable layout. One app that you undoubtedly have already installed on your Android device is Google Play Music. It's an app that you may or may not be using, but you should be because it recently received an update that allows you to upload up to 50,000 songs for free. That's right, 50,000 songs for free. It also has a reasonably priced all access service that allows you to explore music from thousands of different artists for just 10 bucks a month. The first month is free, so you can try it out and cancel if you'd like. But uh, this isn't a sponsor or anything, it's just my favorite music app, and it just got even better with the new update. The last app worth checking out is a game called Pocket Tanks, and it's essentially the mobile version of the Flash game, Tanks. Some of you guys may be too young to remember this game, but it was a childhood favorite of mine. And it's just super simple as it just involves some tanks that you can upgrade with various weapons. 
you have a set number of moves and you just fire and try to destroy the computer game. It doesn't have the best graphics, but you know, graphics aren't everything. It's still a great game that brings back a lot of nostalgia. You should definitely download it if you've ever played the game Tanks. So there you have it. There are 10 of my favorite Android apps of February 2015. Let me know which apps you like from the list, and if you have any suggestions, definitely leave them down below and I'll check them out for myself. With that said, as always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!